U.S. military shuts down HARP, project's mystery to remain unsolved. The U.S. Air Force has notified Congress that it intends to shut down the infamous HARP project, blamed by conspiracy theorists for every global natural disaster from a landslide in 2006 in the Philippines to the 2010 devastating floods in Pakistan and the earthquake in Japan in 2011. Indeed, HARP, High Frequency Active Aurora Research Program, has always been at the center of heated debate because of its hidden and allegedly harmful functional assignment. Some said that the program was designed to control the weather. Others claimed it was developed for global population mind control experiments. In the early 1990s the U.S. Air Force, Navy, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, DARPA and the University of Alaska teamed up to fund the $290 million High Frequency Active Aurora Research Program. The program was designed to analyze the ionosphere, an area of the upper atmosphere that stretches from about 53 miles above the surface of the Earth to 370 miles up, playing an important role in transmitting radio signals. Scientists explained that the main goal of the program was to understand the physics of the ionosphere. Its 13 hectares of high-frequency antennas, located in Gakana, Alaska, has been sending radio beams, up to 3.6 megawatt, to the ionosphere, studying the responses from it. According to the project staff, they have never been involved in classified experiments. However, the Air Force is no longer interested in maintaining HARP. The project is no longer an area that we have any need for in the future said David Walker, the Air Force Deputy Assistant Secretary for Science, Technology and Engineering, at a Senate hearing on May 14. Dennis Papadopoulos, a professor of physics and astronomy at the University of Maryland is protesting against the decision to close the program. While the Air Force neither wants nor appreciates the unique value of HARP, users from several federal agencies, laboratories and universities, and friendly nations such as Canada, Britain, Taiwan, South Korea, Sweden and Norway, are eager to use its unique resources, which would further spread American influence and leadership, he claimed, cited by Live Science. The question remains whether the American or foreign scientific laboratories will find the means to finance the project. For now, the conspiracy theorists may respire, it is most likely that this summer how ARP would not control their mind or global weather. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.